Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to the three dash level editor. I am determined to make a good level in this game. Last episode was a disaster. So there we have the failed file, Wolsey. Whoa, we're gonna make a brand new one. It's gonna be an easy level just so I can actually get something done. Wolsey, easy. No, wait. Wolsey basic <laughs> level author Wolsey Bay if I can actually spell it. Thank you. Let's use a different ground I used the circular one last time. Let's use the fragmented one and then yeah, this fits pretty well Start color can be like a light green. Okay, we're gonna make a super easy level and I've devised a plan My plan is to keep all of my gameplay really simple and just make a bunch of stuff first in the 2d editor playing it just like this so I can actually get my gameplay set in stone. Because you can't play test in the editor, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have to tough it out in normal mode. So there's a song player. Du, 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 du. <laughs> I don't know the songs well enough. This is awkward. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to grin and bear it. So I realized that if you press the up arrow key, you can place objects on another plane, right? So I can have a block like right here and then put spikes in the middle like this. And I gotta test this in normal mode, but I'm pretty sure that puts blocks in front of me. Oh, it's in a different... That's so weird. Okay, so here's my plan. I go on to that other layer that I added, which seems to be behind me at this point. Let's put some decoration already. W. O. A. H. And let's go back into normal mode. Let's just see what that looks like in the background. Just a piece of decoration. Yo! That's so cool. I'm the best. I'm already the best. I'm literally... Top one, three dash creator. So let's make a fake. We're gonna go in the layer below and add a bunch of blocks here and put some spikes right here. And then go back on the layer above. I'm getting used to this, guys. There's music sync right here if I just put a pad there. Nice. No idea how that's gonna play, but I'm gonna put a block right here and just hope for the best. That is kinda goofy. But once the camera moves, I'm confident that I can make that work. You know what I mean? Like I can spin it round and kinda reveal that it's a fake block and reveal that there's a pad behind. Oh, you can put multiple, multiple layers to this. Holy crap. So the screen goes more blue or green depending whether you're in front or behind. That's interesting. Let's do the over defo thing. First level, I'm already making an effect level. So let's just go as far as we can in both layers, just adding blocks. What the heck? I can make parallax! I can make parallax! Yo! All right, all right, all right. I wish there was a way to play test in the actual editor, but it's okay. So we can start parallaxing these blocks. Unfortunately, there's no copy paste, so I'm gonna have to keep on looking at what I'm doing. I think if I just make a couple of sets at a time like this, I can get this done pretty quickly. I can't believe I'm making an effect level in three dash. And just like that, we should be done there. So now let me play test this in normal mode. We have the whoa at the beginning that puts a shadow, which is super sick. Oh my god, I can't believe that that's a thing. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, now it's time for the orb parallax, guys. What would that even look like? I'm so curious just to see. Why? Why would you want that? It's okay, though. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Oh, I got rid of the... Dude. Duh, 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 duh. Right, stop. Okay, cool. We have guidelines. Something like this will work. Right there, we can have a portal. Let's make it double speed. And then we can add a ship portal. What? Oh, you can't line up the best way with the gameplay. Nice. We can see how this really works in a bit. Okay, we have a little spike corridor that I've doubled up some upside down and regular spikes on. And then we can have a portal here. It doesn't have to be too bug free. Like, if you're skipping this, you're not having fun. So, that's your loss. I don't really care about skips. I'm gonna go through the tedious process. Wait, I'm on the wrong layer. I'm on the wrong layer, dude. Why? None of that's gonna be touched. <laughs> So that means I can also make decoration that's on the layer in front, for example, like this block here. And the layer behind, for example, this block here. I keep falling for that every time. Yo, those foreground and background elements are actually so sick. Why didn't I turn into a ship? Hello? Is there something you want to tell me, game? Why did I not turn into a ship? I put things on the wrong layer, didn't I? Oh! The bottom corner tells you the right layer. Okay, so I was looking at the wrong color because I'm goofy. So basically, I'm going to use layers here to be very trippy and have different sections that are like kind of off, you know? We're going to have stuff that's not real. We can have like a huge wall like right here. We can put a bunch of spikes, but you're never going to touch those. And it's going to be super far back. So you're never going to like fall for that super badly, you know? I know these aren't going to kill me, but it's just like a nice little... 
I wish I could view all layers here. That would be quite nice, but I suppose this editor is really not built for effect levels. This is definitely a goof around kind of editor. Not a disc, just an observation. So if I go into normal mode now, let's see how this looks. With our little fake blocks in the front and back. Oh God. That's weird though. Yay, we're a ship and we can go flying. Dude, this is so satisfying. So I'm gonna change the path now. I feel more comfortable with actually doing some of this. Okay, let's not mess up my entire level. I do want it to like visibly say whoa. So I'm not gonna go too crazy from the beginning. And twist this a bit further. All right, got another point right here that goes back this way real quick. Oh, but I don't want the blocks to like fold. You see right there, it kind of breaks. Yeah, my parallax is really gonna have to stay pretty much on the same level this whole time, which is a shame. So we can't really do too much with the path, but we definitely can camera animate this on a slow time multiplier. Get a short keyframe spacing as well. So we get a very consistent update of the camera. Okay, so we're gonna have this intro. You jump the spike and it swivels. Oh, <laughs> I might have spun it a little bit too far there. I was gonna show you that there's a pad there. And then it's going to move back around. God, this is terrible. Okay, and then we're going to have a roly-poly as soon as you hit the dash. Like this. Oh, God, that did not work. The hell is that? Oh, my God. Okay, then we go vertical. And then we go back down. And then we go negative. And then we go back up. And then we go vertical. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hopefully, this isn't too jarring to play. <laughs> I was going to have a spam at the end. Why not? We're just going to do this. Well, I'm really smart. Let's go and check that out in normal mode. Just to see how this plays. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is really unplayable. <laughs> Why am I so happy with this? Oh my God. I can't believe it, dude. I've never wanted to both make something and delete it more in my entire life. We're going to have some color inversions right here. And we're going to go to red. And then we're going to go to like... I don't know this color. I don't know what that is. I'm colorblind. God, this is so awesome. Purple, green, purple, spike, dead. Okay, red looks sick here. My first level is going to be short. Oh, look how speedy I am now. It's so good. Can I put like ground spike blocks? That looks okay. We can put orbs in the ship section. Why not? Yeah, perfect. This is going to be very encouraged to skip though. I'm not going to make it too difficult. Okay, we're going to make a little bridge right here. All right, and then we're going to have an extra drop down. Oh, these... I'm very picky with these blocks. They have to all be the same way up. This is such a recent tab level from GD and I love it. Okay, let's put some blocks here that have pads on them. And we can skip these. Gonna put ground spikes on the ceiling right here. And then there's gonna be a set of blue pads like right here. Yeah. So we're gonna end up flipping immediately. And then exiting is a cube. Then I'm gonna put another fake blue right here and lead onwards to some fake yellows. Could probably make that jump, right? I gotta test this in normal mode now because I don't wanna get too far ahead of myself. Oh boy, that's so hard. I forgot that we're in two times speed. Oh wow. Okay, the camera has to change here. So I'm gonna go straight into the camera editor actually. Oh, the camera should come last really. Because I'm going to lose all of my spins that I did initially. Oh, dude. Yeah, that looks fun. And then we can spin around to get to this point. Okay, awesome. So let's play test this now. We haven't made a path for the ship section. But I'm kind of happy with how the camera moves enough where I don't really want to have a path, to be honest. This is neat. Oh, God. It's so much zoomed out here. <laughs> you can't see a thing. Wow. This is so, so hard, dude. I gotta figure out better places to put these orbs for sure. Could be one here, and there can be one like all over here. But this is just not nice. I don't like that. This should be possible now. <laughs> My problem with this game, I keep making impossible levels. Dude, this is so hard. Okay. I'm gonna take a tiny little break and go into the path editor here. So I'm quite intrigued with the fact that you can twist stuff still. So let me add a point right here. We're gonna start elevating. I'm gonna make another point right here which is going to twist us a little bit. Uh, another point right here, which is going to rotate us down. And then we can twist. We can make a huge twist that's going to stop like over here. This makes more sense to do something like that. Oh God, that looks atrocious though. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> um, there, we'll rock with that. Let's see just how that goes when it goes upside down and stuff. Oh, I keep jumping there. <laughs> stop it. Oh, we're going up. We're going up. It's still impossible to see. I need to make another new camera. I'm sorry. 
was trying to make this all visible. Oh, the camera's gonna suck. Dude, you really need to go through slowly if you're gonna make a good camera on this, I feel. I kind of didn't reveal the jump pad like I was supposed to, but you get the idea. If I was making an actual polished level, you would totally get it. This is the perfect camera angle. Beautiful. No! Okay, you gotta fly a little bit higher. That's fine. Oh, that's so hard to see. I'm kind of happy with this level, though. Duh, geez, okay. I'm gonna put an ending, just in case I ever get past that hellhole. Where's the ending? It should be this. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put a huge wall just to make sure you don't skip anything as well. Just like that, and then... I'm also gonna put a block right here. I'm gonna change the color a bunch as well. So my plan is to grab the color trigger right here. Red. And we're gonna keep on making it red every second block. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I closed the editor. Oopsie. Dude. Uh, that could be a really elaborate secret way then. There's a wall at the end anyway. It should be fine. I'm just trying to make this super red and then have like another flash too. Maybe blue. The opposite side of the red. If I just rotate it like 180 degrees. Okay. Light blue is going to be the flash, I guess. Why not? Uh, okay. I guess that can do. Now I'm going to verify my level. Oh, the flashing does look cool. I got to say. I just can't believe that this game has a level editor. The camera controls are insane. The 3D graphics are insane. And it's so well polished too. Like, how did you make this in such a short amount of time? <gasps> no! No! I thought I was gonna make an easy level. What is this? Yes! No, it's buggy! It's buggy! Oh wait, that just wasn't even a bug. You're supposed to jump that. What am I doing? I just blamed a bug. <laughs> Unfortunate, dude. I'm so good at this game. Let's go. All right. Can I upload it to the servers now? That's such an... Oh, my God. Publish level. Woolsey basic. Woolsey not basic. 661. If you want to play this level, go search up 661. What a cool experience, dude. That is so much fun, dude. I had a blast. What I want to do within the next few days is make a demon level on stream and have like a huge verification video because I think that would be so funny to have like a three dash version of a geometry dash extreme demon or something. I'm hyped. This editor is so cool. Thank you so much for watching this three dash video. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.